He's got some new combinations in the game now. Put Carl Tillman in, and of course, Carl's had some great games, probably minute for minute. He's scoring as much as anybody in the Olympics. He's played real well. One of the things Canada has to be careful of uh, defensively is not to throw the ball in the air against the problems before this game is over. And their big goal, uh, big scorer, uh, Riva, only has two points in the game. And he is an averaging 22 per game in this tournament. And the Italians are still leading by 11, but now it's back to nine. As Carl Tillman starts to hit from the outside. Older brother Greg played with him at Victoria and had a few national championship rings on his finger. And uh, uh, Gerald is uh, not the biggest player in the family in terms of uh, weight. No trouble. Tony Sims of Canada has four personal fouls. It's 52-50 now, a two-point deficit. 12 minutes, 55 seconds left. A very important 12 minutes in Canada's basketball fortunes as Carl Tillman hits from the outside and it's all tied. Light him up, Carl. Uh, if Carl gets hot, he'll blow the game wide open. He is, uh, of course, the fourth-round draft pick of the Denver Nuggets, and he has aspirations to attempt to make it in the NBA. And uh, uh, over the years, I'll tell you, there has never been a finer shooter in Canadian basketball history than Carl Tillman. And if you give him room, he's going to bury the shot. But their scoring has been pretty well balanced. And the surprise is Riva has only two, and he's averaging 22 in the tournament. Danny Mahar, now Eli Pasquale, almost trapped there, got away, gets it to Carl Tillman, who puts it up from back of the key and hits. Carl Tillman has 10 points in the game, and Canada's back in the lead.